I've already made my predictions, but what if everything was possible during the PlayStation Experience 2016? Let's make some dream predictions for the convention. Let me know your dream predictions in the comments down below and don't forget to hit that like button. My dream predictions may sound weird, but they're not crazy like GTA 6 will be announced and will be playable or Half-Life 3 will be announced and is a PlayStation 4 exclusive. No, no stuff like that. My predictions hold a little bit of water. Well, some of them. We haven't heard anything from Sucker Punch after the release of Infamous Second Son and the standalone DLC First Light that both came out in 2014. What has the studio that also created Sly Cooper been up to in the previous two years? Probably a new IP since Infamous Second Son was not really a great entry in the series according to many. I also thought that it was the weakest of the three. Anyway, time for Sucker Punch to move on and hopefully we will get to see that new game at the PlayStation Experience. Blow everyone away with a new probably beautiful looking game in a new setting that we haven't seen before. The leap from Sly to the open world of Infamous was huge. Now imagine what the next step will be. President of Sony's worldwide studios Shuhei Yoshida said that he already played the game back at E3 2015. So this might be the right time to show it then, right? Another game that Shuhei Yoshida mentioned at the same E3 2015 show was Detroit, but then known as the next project of Quantic Dream. Men have been working on this game for around 3 years now, so it's about time. From Heavy Rain to Beyond it was 3 years, so I would love to see Detroit in around September 2017 or whatever. Just give me a date and while you're at it, a VR update. Detroit is about scanning your environment, picking up things and talking to people. That will be an amazing PlayStation VR experience. VR integration in some parts of Detroit or the full game will generate a lot more interest in VR and it will then finally get the AAA game it deserves. Okay, I beat the drum many, many times now deep down. Capcom cannot renew the trademark to this PlayStation 4 exclusive again. It ends in February 2017, so it needs to show that it needs the futuristic dungeon crawler, otherwise it might lose it. I love the trailer we saw during the PlayStation 4 reveal event and the other gameplay that was shown during Tokyo Game Show was awesome as well. Give me this game please or make it into Monster Hunter 5, although that seems pretty unlikely. Anyway, I made a whole video about Deep Down that you can check out on the channel. Okay, 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 okay. Those predictions are not that crazy. I can do, I can do way better. Watch this. Resistance. Oh man, I love Resistance 2 and especially Resistance 3, so to see a complete reboot on the PlayStation 4 would be insane. Resistance 3 has one of the best first person shooter campaigns ever with an amazing weapon arsenal, 6 sequences and great enemy variation. Doom showed that single player shooters can still be successful although I would love to see the return of the amazing co-op mode from Resistance 2. Anyway Insomniac you're not that busy so make besides your VR games, you're probably working on a Ratchet and Clank game too, Spider-Man and new Resistance game, I mean that would make me super happy. You're only gonna show new Spider-Man gameplay? Okay, that, that would be okay with me too. We all know when it's going to release, <clears throat> September 2017. <clears throat> we all know that it's going to be huge, Destiny 2. Bungie will 100% be at the PlayStation experience. They already said that they would be there, so they could bring their next big thing, right? The game that was supposed to hit in 2016, that will consume the time of many, many players, will probably have the story that everyone wanted from the first one, but I think it will not be at the PlayStation experience for many reasons. I think it would make way more sense for them to do their own event to have a way bigger splash in front of their own audience. Battlefield 1 style for example. Another reason is that Destiny 1 is still trucking along. They made a hint that they will talk about Sparrow Racing, about the return of this event during this PlayStation experience. I mean, they announced this event last year. But maybe a teaser for Destiny 2 is in the cards. Everyone knows that Destiny 2 is coming anyway. But my dream prediction would be a full unveil with an amazing gameplay trailer. And then when everyone is about to leave, the lights go out. We see the Rockstar logo. We hear no Western music, no. We hear sirens. 
We see a police car chasing a fan, but then a huge turn causes the fan to crash and the cops arrest the criminals. Then we see an overview of the city. We go to a police apartment where one officer is coming in with his partner, going to his desk. We see a guy eating a donut. They put down the files and say, another job done. Then we see them in stealth mode, hiding behind a wall. They look inside. This is a mafia guy talking about drugs or something. Then they go in, freeze, but one criminal gets away. The officer is running while the partner is staying with all the other mafioso guys. He chases, the officer chases the criminal. And then they get to a dead end. And the officer walks up to him with his gun and says, don't run away from an agent. <laughs> agent. Man, that would be insane. It's been so long, but Red Dead 2 coming and the fact that they still support GTA Online. I don't see it happening anytime soon, if ever, but we can dream, right? I'll probably make an Agent episode later, so be sure to stick around for that. Those are my PlayStation Experience 2016 dream predictions. If one of them would come true, I would totally lose my mind. Let me know yours in the comments down below. Be sure to subscribe to the channel for way more PlayStation Experience coverage. Like the video if you did. And I'll speak to you next time. This was the perfect world of video games.